Hello, Facebook family. Uh, bless you. Glad you're coming on. We're expecting some guests. <laughs> so, we're going to start, but if you hear some little ones busting the door, you'll know it's because my three great great nieces have busted in and arrived. They say they want to come here, Auntie Do Bible study tonight. <laughs> So work with us. We're going to be all right, okay? So I got on my mask. I don't live in the house with them. <laughs> they want to love on that tea after Bible study. So we're going to make it work and do what it do, okay? All right, we're in Job. We left off about the sixth chapter. We're going to pray, and then we're going to hit the word, okay? Father God, we thank you for this day, for this time together to study your word. We ask you, Father, to help us. help us. Help us to live your word. Help us to be good examples to the people around us, God. Yeah. Help us to love on people the way you love on people. God, we love you. We thank you. We give you praise and glory. We ask you to bless our pastor, bless his wife. Bless the prices, bless Minister Nelson, bless our whole church family, Lord. Bless everyone that's tuning in via Facebook or um, YouTube. And we just ask you to help your word spread abroad, help your people grow so we can be more and more like you. We love you. We bless your name. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Come on over here. I know y'all coming anyway. Come on. Pull the other chair out. Let's share with your sister. Share with your sister. All right. Pull the other chair out so Journey can sit down. Hey, baby. Hey, baby. Is that a video? Yes, we're on Facebook Live and YouTube. Say hey to the peoples. Hey. All right, now y'all going to sit real good and pay attention, right? Mm -hmm. All right. So, we are in Job, and we're studying about Job and his friends. And Job was a man who God said was a good man. He said that God was a good man. Job was a good man, and he was perfect. <laughs> and upright but a lot of bad things were going on in job's life job's um children were dead yeah. you know that break my heart if my children were to leave me i don't know what i'd do then his house was gone all his money and wealth were gone he was broke yeah Yes, he was. He was broke, child. Say what? What that be? Now, if you're going to say something, you got to say it loud enough for the people to hear you. So, Job was broke. <laughs> he was hurting. He was sick. He was upset. And his friends came to check on him. And guess how many friends he had? Me. One, two, three. Just like you three little nieces. He had three friends that came to check on him. I just had four. I know. I'm not talking about your age. I'm talking about how many of you there are. Okay? Three. So, y'all going to have to act right now. Y'all being so good and quiet. I'm so proud. Now, we're talking about Job, and we're going to start off in the sixth chapter. I think that's where we ended up with Job and his story in the sixth chapter. So Job, one of his friends had just finished talking to him and telling him that he need to stop fussing with God and that he wasn't perfect. Are you perfect? No. Am I perfect? No. Is anybody perfect? No. Who's perfect? Nobody. Nobody but Jesus. Jesus. That's right. He's the only one who lived on the earth and was perfect. Aunt Shell is not perfect. And we are not perfect. Right, y'all? Yeah. 
Yes, sir. Okay. We all make mistakes. We all do things that are upset people. So now we're at his second friend in Job chapter 8. Y'all with me? <laughs> Thank y'all for being patient, Facebook family. But we're going to make it kids friendly since we got kids. Amen. All right. Job chapter 8 says, Bill Dad. Can y'all say Bill Dad? Bill Dad. Take that off your Take your hand off your face. And stop acting shy. Bill Dad. Bill Dad. All right. Now listen. Y'all listen. listen. Bill Dad said, Are you finally through with your speech? God never twists justice. He never fails to do what is right. Your children must have sinned against God, so he punished them as they deserve. Do you ever get punished? Yes, sir. What kind of punishment you get? You get in trouble. Yes, sir. You lose your iPad. You might even get a whooping one day. But God punished these people. Say, but turn now and plead with Almighty God. If you are honest and pure, then God will come and help you and restore your household as your reward. All the wealth you lost will be nothing compared to what God will give you then. See, he didn't even know it, but he was telling about the future. God was going to give Job all his wealth back. He was going to give him so much more later, but that didn't come to around ver um, chapter 40. Okay, so he's going to get his wealth back. This man didn't know he was telling the truth, but he was sure enough telling it. And then he said in verse 8 in chapter 8, look for a moment at the ancient wisdom. Consider the truths our ancestors learned. Our life is short. We know nothing at all. We pass like shadows across the earth. But let the ancient wise people tell you. Listen to what they say. Reeds can't grow where there is no water. They are never found outside a swamp. Some things happen in certain places. Okay? It's just like, if I want to go fishing, can I go fishing in the desert? Or do I have to go to the lake? The lake? That's right. I got to go to the lake if I want to go fishing. I got to go where some water is. That's what this scripture say. Even a reed, that's a plant that grow near water. It can't grow anywhere unless it's water there. Okay? Just like you. You can't grow in the Lord, unless you get around this kind of water, spiritual water, and learn something. So you're a little read today. So he's trying to tell Job that something's going on for all your stuff to be lost. And there was something going on, but it wasn't nothing that Job did. Job was not being bad. Say that. Job nope. was not was being, bad. being bad. But bad stuff, but bad stuff happened, to Job. happened to Job. That's right. There you go. Y'all did good. Bad stuff happened to Job even though he was not being bad. So, his friend Bildad still talking to him. He talks a long time. And he said... Godless people are like those reeds. Their hope is gone once God is forgotten. They trust a thread, a spider's web. If they lean on a web, will it hold them up? If they grab for the thread, can it help them stand up? A spider web? No. Spider web so thin and flimsy, it can't help nobody but the spiders. If you try to grab it like this chair, it can't help you. 
And that's what he's saying. Some things you just can't hold on to. What can you hold on to? God's word yes. and God's promises. Okay? So that's what he's telling his friend. to Hold on to God's word and God's promises. He said, God will never abandon the faithful. That's verse 20. Or ever give help to evil people. He will let you laugh and shout again, but he will bring disgrace on those who hate you and the homes of the wicked will vanish. So he's telling Job, hang in there. God's going to help you. Do you think God will help you? Yes, That's right. If you need help, you hang in there, you pray. God will help you, but you got to keep hanging on. Okay? Verse, chapter 9, verse 1. Yes, I've heard all that before. This Job talking. But now, but how can a human being win a case against God? Can anyone argue with him? Can he ask a thousand questions that no one could ever answer? Can you argue with God? Show can't. That's great. You can't argue with God. You can get mad with him. You can even fuss. But you can't win the argument. Because he God. He control everything. Right? Yes, sir. He control you too. It said, God is so wise and powerful, no one can stand up against him. Without warning, he moves mountains. And in anger, he destroys them. God sends earthquakes and shakes the ground. He rocks the pillars that support the earth. Y'all being so good. I'm going to have to give y'all something special. He can keep the sun from rising and the stars from shining at night. Who can do that? God. That's right. Only God. Only God. Move that box right there. Thank you, baby. Okay. All right. No one helped God spread out the heavens or trample the sea monsters back. God hung the stars in the sky. Have you ever seen the Big Dipper? It's the It's stars. It's what? a shape in the sky. Of the stars. I think so. The Dipper, Orion, Pleiades, and the stars of the south. We cannot understand the great things he's done. And to his miracles, there's no end. God does miracles for us every day. Did you know that? Yeah. What miracle he do for you this morning? Did you wake yourself up? How did you wake yourself up? God woke you up. That's the first miracle he did for you today. He woke you up this morning. All right. Now, this is what Job says. He said, though I am innocent, all I can do is beg for mercy from God, my judge. And sometimes we, we're not innocent, are we? Have you ever done something wrong? And you know you did something wrong. Uh-huh. And you said, Mama, I'm sorry. Grandma, I'm sorry. Yes. We have to do the same thing with God every day. We have to pray at night, in the morning, and tell God we sorry. Because we messed up at some point in the day. And we want him to forgive us. So we tell God we're sorry and plead for mercy. And that's all he's saying. He said all he can do is pray and ask God to forgive him. He said, but listen to me. I, I can't even believe he would listen to me. That's verse, the bottom part of verse 16. He sent storms to batter and bruise me without any reason at all. He won't let me catch my breath. 
He's filled my life with bitterness. Should I try force? Should I try force on God? Can you make God do anything? No. No, that's like you trying to pick me up. You can't pick me up. You might pick my arm up, but you can't pick up my whole body. It's like we can't fight with the Lord. It said, uh, should I take him to court? Verse 19 in the middle. Should I take him to court? Could anyone make him go to court? <laughs> I am innocent and faithful, but my words sound guilty. And everything I say seem to condemn me. I'm innocent, but I no longer care. I'm sick of living. Nothing matters. Innocent or guilty, God will destroy us. Now, God does not just destroy people. We go through stuff. He's here for us when we go through. God does not punish us and make us go through stuff just to be going through stuff. We go through stuff to learn lessons. (laughs) We go through stuff to grow. We just go through stuff. But the word of God tells us he will never leave us. Nor forsake us. That means he's always where? With us. So no matter what we're going through, he's going to stay there with us. Like when you get ready to go take a nap, Journey always wants Sissy in the bed with her, right? She said, I want Sissy. That's how God is with us. We may not see him, but wherever we go, he right there by our side. And he keep us. Alright? So, Job. God gave the world to the wicked. This is verse 24. He made all judges blind. And if God didn't do it, who did? Huh. Now, we're going through a time in our country where it seemed like... <laughs> Every judge you go to blind, ain't it? Well. People who we can look at a video and say, we see they guilty. <laughs> judge see the same video and say, innocent. But there's coming a day when God will judge. Amen. And he was going to sh- separate His sheep from the goats. He's going to say, these people have done what I asked them to do. These people have not. These people accepted Jesus. These people did not. Did you feed the sick? And feed the hungry, take care of the sick? That's from Matthew 25. Look it up. So, God is judging, not us. And what Bildad and um, Job's other friends were doing was judging him. They just knew he had done something wrong. And no matter what Job said, they just believed Job did something wrong. Now God had told the devil, Job is a good man. Perfect and upright in all his ways. So they decided to do a little test on him. To see if he would act right. Even without his money. Even without his horses and camels and all the stuff that he had. Even without his children and his wife. They wanted to know would Job still act right. That's what I wanted to know about y'all today. When y'all was coming, they said, we got to go see Aunt Shell. I said, I wonder if they're going to act right while I'm teaching. Mm-hmm. And guess what? Y'all acted right, just like Job. He acted right and y'all acted right. Now, you said you had a question or something you wanted to say? Mm-hmm. It's not important. Of course it's important. All right, well, you can tell me later if you don't want the whole world to see it. All right. Now, Job, we did uh, most of the 8th chapter. 
Uh, I knew it was something in this chapter I didn't want to miss. We ain't quite finished. <laughs> All right. Go down to verse 29. It says, since I am held guilty, why should I bother? No soap can wash away my sin. What can wash away my sin? Nothing but, Nothing but the blood of Jesus. What can make me whole again? Nothing but the blood of Jesus. Now, that means in all precious is the flow. The blood of Jesus, the only thing that can wash away our sins. And Job at this time did not have the blood of Jesus to wash away his sins. But he knew who God was. He knew to pray to God and ask God to take away his sins. And he did his very best not to sin and make a mess of things. So, that's verse 20, um, 29 and 30. Verse 33. There is no one to step between us. No one to judge both God and me. No one can judge both God and man. Because God can't be judged. He's always going to be innocent. You hear me? He's always going to do what is right for us. He's always going to try to be there for us and do the right thing for us. We may not like it at the time. It may not feel good at the time. But he's going to do what's right for us. Yeah. Just like sometimes when y'all want to get on the iPad and I say, nope. Or I say, you got to do your work first or you got to read this book first. Then you can get on the iPad. Because it's what's best for you. The work is what's best for you. All right. And that brings us to the end of the chapter nine. The only thing is funny how he ends this chapter. Now, of course, Job didn't separate the chapters. Um, scholars did later. But he says to God, stop pushing me, God. <laughs> Keep your terrors away. I'm not afraid. I'm going to talk. Because I know my own heart. So he's about to fuss with the creator of the whole world. Who is that? Jesus. Jesus. God the Father, God the Son, who is Jesus, and the Holy Spirit. The three of them worked together and made the whole wide world. So you are right. Yep, you are right. He's going to fuss with God. And I don't know about you, but I fussed with God a few times in my life because <laughs> I didn't like what was going on in my life. And I'm like, Lord, why are you letting all this stuff happen? And what we going to do about it? So we're going to pray. And um, please drop your questions, comments <laughs> in the bottom. Thank you for being patient with me and my nieces as we went through this lesson in the family. My aunt's here, my mom, my dad, and Jackie as usual. Yeah. And we appreciate you tuning in. And hopefully you learned something about Job in the 8th and ninth chapter. And we will pick up with chapter 10 next week. Okay? Okay. All right, y'all ready? Close your eyes and be quiet. I'm going to pray. Father God, we thank you for this time to study your word. We ask that you bless your people all around the world. We ask you, God, to bless those who are fighting COVID. God, we bless those who have lost loved ones. We ask you, God, to bless those who are trying to get justice all over the world. We see that even in Job's time, there were judges who were not willing to give justice to the people. God, but we know that you have all things in your hand. In Isaiah 59, you talk about justice a whole lot, God. Yes, Lord. And we know that one day, one day. every man will have to answer for their own sins. One day. And we thank you, thank you Lord. that we don't have to answer for anybody but ourselves. Amen. And God, we thank you. Thank you Lord. And we ask you to help us, Please, to help whoever we can help Amen. while we're on this earth. Bless my family, friends, Bless our church, our you. pastor. Jesus. All the ministers that work with our ministry. And God, we just give you glory, honor, and praise.
and help us, God, as we learn from the life of Job. In Jesus' name. Jesus. Amen. 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 Have a great day, y'all. Have a good weekend. Don't forget to tune in for Pastor Gordon's sermon on Sunday on Facebook and YouTube at 11, just Facebook. And they'll upload to YouTube later. And at 3 p.m. on the phone lines, they'll have the um, sermon playing, okay? Have a good night. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Bye.